Hey guys, I'm Darren, I'm Jet's dad, and we're just doing a little walk around on uh, Jet's bike for collective experience. And uh, Jet, obviously his, uh, his bike is set up, which a lot of people obviously understand is set up to his leg length, his torso length, and his arm length. That's what determines what handlebars you run. You know, so Jet runs um, a set of bars that suits that size of him. You know, um, a grip that's nice and soft because they spend a lot of hours on the bike and that's a grip that he, he likes. Um, his suspension is, is set up generally for a little bit stiffer fork than normal um, with a softer, a softer rearing because he does uh, steer the bike with the, with the rear quite, quite often. Um, the Yoshimura pipes are something that we've developed for constantly developing with the size of the, the outlet and how fast it expands to, to get the right power in the right spot for the way he rides the bike. Um, rear brake he runs a little bit higher than a lot of people um, because he gets back, he's got such long legs, he gets back a long way so you need the, the lever up a little bit higher. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's standard subframe height, standard frame, standard swing arm, nothing crazy there. Um, we run um, a 47 rear sprocket, they come out 49 standard, but he likes his gears to be spread out a little bit further so he can stay in the gear, so that's what we run with his gearing, he seems to like. Depending on the depth of the track, you may go upper sprocket size, you know, just to give it a little bit more response. Dunlop tyres, obviously, factory tyres, which are just a little bit softer sidewall, a little bit softer compound um, than your general uh, tyre you buy from the public. But uh, but no, other than that, nicer. Uh, titanium pegs obviously for the extra grip and to save weight um, and, uh, and that's sort of like yeah a walk around Jet Lawrence's bike. Approved Jet? Yeah, yeah I'd say approved. <laughs> <laughs>